All right, guys. It's Jim Bounds with Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch. Thank you for coming by. Ranch hands, thanks a lot. And uh, <clears throat> rear hatch. One of the cool things about a GMC is the way it was designed to be manufactured. <clears throat> Originally, they pulled the coach, backed it up to a dock. They had the rear hatch off. It was designed this way put the dock in here and they loaded the motorhome up from the steering wheel, from the dash back, and then popped the cap on it, you know? It was designed that way because they had to figure out how to get Bubba and Scooter, the UAW, <coughs> the UAW to figure out how to build this thing. So not only was it a unique vehicle, it had a unique manufacturing uh, uh, situation uh, and so this rear hatch was real important. Now, if you have a 73 or a 74, one of the challenges was the rear hatch. Because originally what they did <clears throat> is they put a, spun a brass insert into this hole, okay? Then they, they put a piece of foam gasket in there, put the hatch on, and took a quarter, a quarter 20 screw and went into the brass insert. Felt good. You could come back out, they could take it back off, put it back in. The problem is you had a steel screw <clears throat> into a brass insert. Uh, so what's going to happen? Corrosion. Okay. So a quarter 20 steel screw is holding the rear cap together on the back of a 73 and a 74 coach. And chances are that quarter 20 screw will not come out of the brass insert that's in here, it's corroded together. So in 73 and 74 to get that hatch off, you just about have to drill that screw out or go inside with a punch and punch the screw and insert out completely. Only way to get it off. Kind of sucks. I have a 73. It's not like I didn't, don't want one. It's just that this is a peculiarity <clears throat> of a 73. So after they had a couple of hatches that wouldn't come off and some big guys got egg on their face, they came up with a new idea. And we'll do a picture of this right here. This was called a high-low screw. Okay? High-low screw has got two sets of threads. It's got a small set of threads, and then it's got a wider set of threads to bite in more, okay? High-low screw was designed to bite into the plastic, okay? So these, you could shock them, break them loose, because you got steel into plastic, or fiberglass if you want to call it, but it's not fiberglass. Steel into plastic. You could shock it, and you could take the screw out. So guys with 75 and after, <clears throat> the rear hatch will come off. Now, there's a number three Phillips head on the end of that. Kind of a decorative looking thing, right? Well, they rust. So you, over the years, you'll see rust coming off of them, or you'll see somebody put some body filler on it and tried to cover that whole seam. Well, you can't do that because this is the body structure. The hatch, and right here, we're going to put a picture into the hatch. The hatch is screwed onto it and it's floating. So if you try to fill that or put filler on top of that screw, the screw is into here and it's not moving. The hatch is moving, it will break out. It'll just break out, okay? So it's, it's one, you can take this coach apart and not disturb the structural integrity of it by taking the rear hatch off. That's another thing it was designed for. So it's very cool. So if you can take it off, be a good thing okay now when we do a paint job <clears throat> we will take all the screws out no matter what it takes if it takes us to drill it with a whatever <clears throat> take it out fix the body fix whatever needs to be done okay and then we put something new in all right come on out here let's i want to go uh show you a minute on this rear hatch and some things so come on with me all right, so uh, we're back at the uh, back 40 next to the fence where uh, the uh, 
vines to live free. Here's a rear hatch. Okay, it's in pretty good condition other than it's cracked down there. But the plastic you can see has these reinforcements in them. You got little reinforcements here. You got you got uh, three ribs down the middle. You've got a reinforcement through here, but you can see how thin this is. There is no structural integrity. Right here, crack. If you try to lift the door, it cracks because this is heavy. This is heavier than the door. The door is kind of like something off of uh, those uh, uh, Mattel uh, Barbie coaches. <laughs> it's very thin. <clears throat> I'm going to put a picture up. shows you the purchase of this screw into the body. You see it? Right. So you can see how far the screw goes in. Now, it's also threaded into the plastic. Okay? It threads into the plastic, too. But the where it wants to get purchase is, is what sticks through, and that picture tells you everything. So that's how much, that's what's holding this, this door on. There's 25 screws around here. There's seven sheet metal screws across the bottom. Seven of them and 25 here. All right? So we want to do something to keep this thing on there for sure. All right? Now, one of the great things about a GMC is this rear hatch. And over the years, they did all kinds of wild stuff. Uh, to this rear hatch. Um, I'll show you, we'll walk out, I'll show you an ambulance that had uh, double doors on the back. We actually got the ambulance to build double doors on the first one that was in the video. Scarlett, what, I mean, sorry. Eleganza, what are you doing over here? We caught you. We caught you. So, <clears throat> so anyway, they did a lot of things to this rear hatch. Here, let me show you a double door uh, setup. Hold on one second. Come back with me. So here, here's a double door. Check this out. This is a trans mode with a deck on the roof. Booyah, huh? But see, they, they took that, that rear hatch and they made this assembly and made a double door for this thing. Isn't that wild? So this is broke down, but this is going to be a really nice coach when it's done. Trans mode, all stripped out, no floor. It's got double doors from the factory. What do you say from the factory? There's an outfitter that made this. All right? Let me, let's go look at another one. <clears throat> Take a look here. This was a neonatal intensive care unit, uh, transport unit. The back of this, let's take a look at the back. The rear hatch has been taken off, but you can see what they had. They had this so they could run the Ferno stretchers up in there. And this was a double door that we're putting on the coach. Uh, like I said, it was in the first part of the, uh, the video here. It's so unfortunate. Well, this is broken down now. The floor was rotten. Interior was nasty. But the body, the body is good. This thing sat <coughs> so long. This was the passenger side hood. Sat so long a tree <laughs> grew up through here. We had to use a uh, chainsaw to get this thing out. Grew right up into it. So I, I knew this motorhome in 1995. It was operational as a uh, 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 ambulance, as a transporter. And it went downhill from there. But it has value. So they did the back door on this. Let me show you another one. Come on over here in the field of dreams. <clears throat> this coach right here as they say in southern vernacular hey y'all watch this okay 
Okay, still needs a few problems. It's really massive. You can see how right here, really a lot of weight. <clears throat> we had to build a halo here because there's nothing behind that seam. There's no support structure. We had to build a, a support structure, hinged it, had to reinforce the hatch, reinforce here, and it's still. It's one, it's very heavy, and we may have to go back to the drawing board on this thing. Uh, we've been working on it a long time. It's currently down to its root mean, but it was originally designed to pull a 54 Healy in. Okay? Rear hatch makes it happen. Come on, I'll show you another one. All right, guys. <clears throat> Here's a coach. This is Larry. Larry was a uh, mobile post office in the Denver postal system. <laughs> no windows. Has a 36-inch wide back door. <clears throat> Larry C. in uh, Denver. So it's named after. Thank you, Larry, for getting this for me. Come on back. I'm going to show you the rear hatch. The thing that makes this unique. <clears throat> is this 36 inch wide side hinged opening back door. Very cool. What this was used for, if you see it was cut down. So the sweep up was rearranged is what we're gonna be doing in that ambulance because remember the ambulance had to pull it in. <clears throat> and the door actually is at the deck level of the interior. So when you open this up, you can pull the motorcycle right in. Okay. They made 12 of these for the government. Uh, most of them end up in the Midwest as post office, uh, delivery vehicles, mobile post office, what have you. But they did this by putting in the new screw, the high-low screw. They made this fiberglass mold, which we made a, a mold of. If you are interested, in one of these, we have the mold. We can make this for you, okay? But they, they designed this rear hatch and they simply bolted it to the back of the motorhome. And then they went and put an interior in it. Original was set up, you come in the back door, there's a counter up at the uh, front. You go in there, you give them your, your postcard or whatever, you know, postmarked at the mall or whatever and then you go out the side door. It was designed like this. Had seats on either side, had America's Most Wanted on the wall, it had a desk there. Looked just like a post office. I got pics. Anyway, it all happened because of this back door. So this rear hatch was a really, really important thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so come on over here. I want to show you where <laughs> after 25 years, we went to put this video together. I could not find a quarter 20 screw in this whole place. We use a stainless steel quarter 20 Phillips head. It's called a THMS head. THMS number three Phillips screw. And what we do with it, come on over here, I'll show you. This is an insert. This is called a wood zert with a quarter 20 thread in it. Now it has a hex here and here. You see that? It's pot metal, okay? But what you do is you put a little bit of silicon in there, RTV, acts as kind of a lubricant, and also when it goes in there and takes purchase, it'll seal. You put it in there. This, we did this before this coach was painted. Take all the screws out. You paint it. You put one of these in there. And then you can dress it out by putting a quarter 20 screw in. And that's what you end up with. That's been in there about five years. Came right out. 
pot metal to stainless steel won't hurt anything. If I wanted to pull the hatch out, I could put an Allen wrench, Allen head on that insert and take it out and the rear hatch will come off. So this is something you do when you can get them all out. Now, if you can get them all out, then you can get a, a wood zert with a quarter 20 inch uh, thread in it, take them out, glue that in, THMS number three Phillips, booyah. Stainless steel screws, it won't rust. You got it clean. When you paint the coach, the back will look good. Now, when you put it back on, it has a foam gasket that's stuck in there and then put on it. Well, that's fine. But what we do is we'll bag it off. Remember bagging off how we did the side windows? Where you bag this off on each side, and then you put black RTV silicone in that crack, that entire crack, to seal it, wipe it once with your finger right through there and pull the tape right away. It'll skin it up, make a nice clean uh, seal and a nice clean cosmetic finish to it. That's, this was done about five years ago and you can see, actually that was done almost ten years ago. All right. So let's come on inside, let's cool down, man it's hot out here and uh, we'll talk about a few other things. Come on in. Wow, man, it is hot. It is hot out there. Florida. Winter, the summer solstice was last week. What can I tell you? The blast furnace doors are open. So, <clears throat> rear hatch. Very cool device. When you look at your motorhome, if you're going to really gut it, all right, everybody says to do that, and a lot of them on the, on the uh, market, they're gutted, ready for an interior. Well, that was the easy part. <laughs> but what would have made it a lot easier, if you're really going there, take off the back hatch. Because then you can blow it out the way it was blown in, <laughs> if nothing more. And you guys with the Royales, I'm sorry, they didn't know any better. They built that sucker through a 24 inch wide side door. Dude. You could take off the rear hatch and make it a whole lot easier to do. Okay? So you know how to do it. Let's recap. 73 or 74, I'm sorry. It's still a good coach. I still love mine. But you may have to take the rear cap out, take the whole interior out, and take a punch and punch that insert out. It'll come out <clears throat> to get your rear hatch off. And then you can put this bed, this in there, then put the screw through the hatch, then it'll always come off. Now, if you've already got these, take them out, clean the holes up, then put this in there, then put the screw on it. Then if you have to take it off, you can take the screw out, that'll come out, and then you can use the Allen wrench to take this off, and then the hatch will come off. Okay. By the way, <laughs> if you are going to pull the screws out and paint it, put maybe four back in before you drive it? I'm just saying, think about it. You know, you don't want it to fall off. So, and it, it might. <laughs> Rear hatch is a very cool device. Think about what you want to do with your coach. And if the rear hatch, if the bedroom's going to be in the back, well, you know, you could, we have made that window hatch up. You know, that's kind of cool. Uh, we have made the bottom open to get access. Some folks have put uh, utility controls back there, all kinds of neat things. So but that, that back hatch gives us a lot of opportunity. And if you do think one day down the road uh, it's something you're going to do or whatever, put these in there. Uh, and if you want a rear hatch, there are a few transmos with them. And I can make you one, brother. <laughs> all right. So um, I hope you learned a little bit here. Uh, you ranch hands, uh, don't, you know, write this down. If I ever call you up and say, go out there and rip the back of that hatch off, you need to know how to do it. All right? All right, well, look, um, thanks for giving your time. If you're interested to see more, we want to do more, and uh, support us. We support you. All right, see you later. Have a great day.